Picture yourself in a bygone era where the air was thick with nostalgia and the flicker of a television set in the living room held the promise of captivating adventures. It was the year 1966 when a burst of vibrant colors burst onto our screens, signaling the arrival of a caped crusader and his trusty sidekick. Batman, in all his campy glory, danced onto our black and white screens, a beacon of justice in a world teeming with vivid villains. Who could forget that iconic opening sequence where the dynamic duo, Batman and Robin, race towards the camera, their capes billowing dramatically behind them. The city of Gotham never looked quite the same again. And what about the bat signal slicing through the Inkai night sky, calling our heroes to action? The absurdity of their foes, the Joker, the Penguin, the Riddler, and Catwoman seemed tailor-made for an era that reveled in the fantastical and the outlandish. But beyond the bam, pow, and zap, there's more to this classic TV series than meets the eye. As we dive into the annals of bat history, y'all discover intriguing tidbits about the show that will leave you in awe. So, same bat time, same bat channel, let's explore the enigmatic world of the 1966 Batman series. The 1966 TV series Batman is a legendary cultural phenomenon that brought the iconic caped crusader to the small screen. Originating from the DC Comics character, the show featured Batman, portrayed by Adam West, and his trusty sidekick Robin, played by Burt Ward. Notable for its campy and light-hearted tone, Batman stood out with its vivid, pop art-inspired visuals, onomatopoeic fight captions, and unforgettable villains like the Joker, Catwoman, and the Penguin. The series, which ran for three seasons, made an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing how Batman was perceived for decades. Its unique style, characterized by humor and bold aesthetics, made it a beloved classic, despite its brief run. Batman remains a cultural touchstone, reflecting the dynamic evolution of the Dark Knight's legacy in mainstream media. In 1974, Yvonne Craig and Burt Ward reprised their roles as Batgirl and Robin, and William Dozier returned as narrator for a U.S. Department of Labor PSA advocating equal pay for women. Adam West, wishing to distance himself from the role, turned the PSA down, and Batman was played by Dick Gaudi. The 1966 TV series Batman left an indelible mark on pop culture and some of its stars continued to support social causes even after the show's conclusion. Yvonne Craig and Burt Ward, who portrayed Batgirl and Robin, joined forces for a public service announcement in 1974. The PSA aimed to advocate for equal pay for women, an issue that remains relevant to this day. Notably, Adam West, who played Batman, chose not to participate in the PSA, possibly as part of his efforts to distance himself from the iconic role. Instead, the role of Batman in the PSA was taken on by Dick Gaudier. This PSA serves as a testament to the enduring impact of the Batman series and its actors' commitment to important social issues. While the Batman TV series was known for its campy and lighthearted approach to crime fighting, the actors behind the iconic characters used their fame to shed light on real-world challenges, such as gender pay inequality. It's a reminder that even the most whimsical of shows can have a meaningful impact on society. Unveiling identities in the shadows of Gotham, the enigma of Batman in the iconic 1966 TV series Batman. A cloak of mystery shrouded the full names of key characters. While Bruce Wayne's middle name, Thomas, pays homage to his father, Dr. Thomas Wayne, the show tactfully avoided uttering these full names on screen. Robin's secret identity, Richard John Grayson, was similarly concealed, with Dick serving as a shortened alias for Richard. Alfred, Batman's trusted ally, maintained an enigmatic last name throughout the series, although in the comics, he is unveiled as Alfred Thaddeus Crane Pennyworth. Commissioner Gordon, a pivotal figure in Gotham, kept his first name veiled in the TV series, whereas in the comics, he is known as James Worthington Gordon S.R. Chief O'Hara's first name remained a well-guarded secret, speculated to be either Miles or Clancy by some sources. Interestingly, the masked villains of Gotham, including the Riddler, Penguin, and Catwoman, never uttered their real names on screen. The exception to this rule was the Mad Hatter, the only antagonist referred to by his given name. As the series approached the end of its third season, ABC aimed to trim costs by axing Chief O'Hara and Robin, proposing Batgirl as Batman's full-time partner. 
However, this proposition faced resistance from key figures like William Dozier and Adam West. In response, ABC promptly canceled the show, signaling an unexpected end to the Caped Crusader's televised adventures. After the cancellation, the fate of the Batcave hung in the balance. Producers held out, anticipating another network's interest. However, the Batcave set met an untimely demise when NBC, unaware of its dismantling, expressed interest in picking up the series. Unwilling to shoulder the high cost of rebuilding the iconic set, NBC reluctantly declined, marking the definitive end to the beloved Batman series. In the annals of television history, Batman stands as a testament to the art of concealment and the unexpected twists behind the scenes. Gotham's shadows may be full of secrets, but the curtain has been lifted on the enigma that was the 1966 Batman series. Batman's turbulent takeoff, a costly gamble pays off in 1966. ABC took a risky leap with the television series Batman. Before hitting the airwaves, the show faced a grim reality it scored the worst in audience test history for the network. ABC, however, decided to forge ahead, driven not by optimism, but by the hefty sum already poured into the project. The gamble, it turned out, paid off. Despite its shaky start, Batman became a cultural phenomenon, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. The show's campy style and vibrant characters, led by Adam West as Batman and Burt Ward as Robin, struck a chord with viewers, making it a surprising success. However, the show's impact wasn't confined to the small screen. Shortly after its debut in England, a bizarre consequence unfolded. Inspired by Batman's daring escapades, several children attempted to emulate their hero by leaping out of windows, resulting in injuries. In response, Adam West, donned in his Batman attire, filmed a stern announcement, emphasizing the fictional nature of his character's abilities. This unexpected turn of events highlighted the influence television could exert on impressionable minds. While the caped crusader fought crime on screen, Robin, his trusty sidekick, contributed his own quirk to the series. Burt Ward's character became known for using a staggering 352 holy phrases, ranging from the peculiar holy agility to the amusing holy Zorro. This recurring catchphrase added a touch of whimsy to the show, becoming a hallmark of Robin's character and contributing to the series' distinctive charm. In retrospect, Batman defied the odds and expectations, transforming from a questionable investment to a cultural phenomenon. Its peculiar journey from the brink of rejection to global acclaim remains a testament to the unpredictable nature of television success. Adam West's Batman may not have been able to fly, but the show itself soared to unexpected heights, leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of television history. As the bat signal fades into the Gotham night, we bid adieu to the iconic 1966 TV series Batman, a timeless journey into the comic book cosmos that left an indelible mark on our cultural landscape. Like Batman's utility belt, this show was packed with pow, bam, and zing, creating a vivid kaleidoscope of campy crusades and dynamic duels. Now, dear reader, take a moment to let the Batmobile of nostalgia sweep you away. Whether you were a dedicated citizen of Gotham tuning in each week or have discovered this retro gem in the Batcave of streaming services, there's an undeniable charm to Adam West's stoic Batman and Burt Ward's exuberant Robin. The colorful villains, the playful banter, and the absurdly delightful bat gadgets, it's a carnival of caped crusading that transcends time. But this isn't just a farewell, it's an invitation. Reflect on the bat signals that illuminated your own life. Did you recreate the iconic Battersea -si dance in your living room? Were you inspired to craft your own bat adventures in the backyard? Or maybe, just maybe, you found yourself chuckling at the onomatopoeic delights that punctuated each action-packed episode. Share your bat memories, your bat thoughts, and your bat feelings. Let's create a bat community where the bat fandom can unite and celebrate the enduring legacy of a TV series that dared to be delightfully different. Thank you for joining us on this retro ride down the Gotham memory lane. Your time and bat enthusiasm are truly appreciated. Until next time, same bat channel, same bat place.